Please join in singing Glory and Praise to Our God, number 547. Glory and and praise praise to to our our God, God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his ways. We, the daughters and sons of him who built the valleys and plains, Praise the wonders our God has done in every heart that sings. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his ways. Good morning. Good morning. Today is Friday of the 20th week in Ordinary Time. This Mass is being celebrated for Micah Munson, the living, and also Cindy Lawfer on her 32nd anniversary with our Ascension Youth Ministry. Congratulations. <laughs> this Mass is being live streamed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The great mercy and peace of God, our loving Father, be with each of you. And with your your spirit. spirit. As a tree grows from a seed, so the kingdom of God can grow from the smallest silent motion of our hearts. We ask to be joined with him in his kingdom to come. Let us pray our sorrow for our failures. The love of God grows urgently within us, and we can always nurture that growth. Lord Jesus, your love is never taken from us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you give us that love that we may give it to the world. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you are both the gift and the giver. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God then have mercy on us all, forgive us our sins, bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, Heavenly King, accept our prayers as we pray for the kingdom to come. Let us be worthy of that prayer, ascending to you who are all good and all deserving of our love. For this we pray urgently now. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the book of Ruth. Once in the time of the judges, there was a famine in the land. So a man from the Be- from Bethlehem of Judah departed with his wife and two sons to reside on the plateau of Moab. Elidlich, the husband of Naomi, died, and she was left with her two sons who married Moabite women, one named Ophrah, the other Ruth. When they had lived there about ten years, both Malan and Chilion died also, and the woman was left with neither her two sons nor her husband. She then made ready to go back to the plateau of Moab because word reached her here that the Lord had visited his people and given them food. Oprah kissed her daughter-in-law goodbye, but Ruth stayed with her. Naomi said, See now, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and her God. Go back after your sister-in-law. But Ruth said, Do not ask me to abandon or forsake you. For wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God, my God. Thus it was that Naomi returned with the Moabite daughter-in-law, Ruth, who accompanied her back from the plateau of Moab. They arrived in Bethlehem at the beginning of the barley harvest. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial psalm, praise the Lord, my soul. Praise Praise the the Lord, Lord, my my soul. soul. 
Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that it is that is in them. Praise, Praise the, the Lord, Lord my soul. soul. The Lord keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry, the Lord sets captives free. Praise, Praise the, the Lord, Lord my soul. soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind, the Lord raises up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord, my soul. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Praise, Praise the, the Lord, Lord, my soul. Father, we bless you. May the Lord be in your heart, on your lips, that you may wordly proclaim his holy gospel. I ask this in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Teach me your paths, my God. Guide me in your truth. Teach me your alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested Jesus by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest in the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The story of Ruth is a very special story, very moving. Many of us hold it as one of our most favorite passages in all of Scripture. It's not just about a man's love for a woman's love for her husband, but also for another female, too, her mother-in-law. I think that is somewhat exceptional in modern times. Naomi. Naomi traveled with her husband and two daughters-in-law um, to a foreign land. And there she became a widow. Her husband and her sons, forgive me, died. And she counseled her daughters-in-law uh, to return to their own devices, their own country. And one of them did. The other one was Ruth. And she said in proclamation those famous words, your God is my God, your people are my people. I will go where you go. And so she went back to a land from where she was. She was not a Jewess. And going back to that land, which was Israeli land, she ultimately became a fixture in the salvation history of the Jewish people. She became like Father Abraham, whom we call our father in faith because of his intense belief in the creator God. And one of the things that's pretty obvious about the story of Ruth is that it is matching the gospel we hear from the lips of Jesus, where he tells us to love, love passionately, love our God, love ourselves, and love our neighbor. And the decided novel thing about what Jesus says to us is that he gives us this demand for love as two sides of the same coin. We are to love ourselves with our neighbor because we are both loved by God. And God doesn't love 
any acts, any actual portion of his own creation. He loves them all intensely, and that's our obligation, to love others as we love ourselves as, and as we love God, because there is no separation of the three loves there. We are not to be engaged in self-hatred. We are not to be despising our neighbor, even though our neighbor is worthy of our dislike. We are to wish nothing but the best for him or her. And of course, we are to meld those loves together and lay them at the feet of our God, who is all good and all deserving of love, constantly. That's the obligation. Now, the moral for us, really, is that we may think, as Roman Catholics, that when we have encyclicals, when we have pronouncements motu proprio from the Holy Father or from the Vatican, the Vatican says this and says that, when we have the, the demands from the church in general as interpretations, we are to consider that supreme to all of those things is that they are to be founded in love, always, always, always. There's no exception to that. Let us pray. Each of us entertains the kingdom of God in growing, in growing to what we are called to be. We come before the Lord in prayer now, confident that his words will bear fruit in us always too. And so we pray these intentions. Our response, let us pray. That the church through the, its teachings and intercessions may strengthen our preparation to meet the Lord at any given moment, let us pray. Lord God, pray. That people of the nations may be ready, willing, and able to help one another in the event of a natural disaster or catastrophe as we now see around this world, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer in mind, suffer in spirit, suffer in physical health, may find healing strength through our prayers and in the gift of the sacraments. Let Lord, us pray. hear our prayer. That our parish family may be faithful servants who use the gifts they have been given to enrich the community, assist the needy, and spread God's word. Let us Lord, pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That our devoted people may be welcomed by the bridegroom of the heavenly banquet. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That our directing, directors, students, teachers of our religious education departments may find progress in their work and in their studies in the pursuit of faith, hope, and love. For this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, be with us. Help us to grow, grow always to what you have called us to be. We ask this in the name of Jesus now. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. It is through your goodness that we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will be for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, Lord. Lord, by this mingling of wine and water, may we be enabled to share his divinity, who humbled himself to share our humanity. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. It is through your goodness, too, that we have this wine to offer, 
the fruit of the vine, yet the work of our hands, it will be for us a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, wash away our sins, cleanse us from our iniquity. brothers, my sisters, that our sacrifice find favor before God, who is for each of us a loving Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, Lord God, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept our offering as we present it to you. May it be for us life without end. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. I'm using the preface for the dead, uh, which is an offering at this Mass for mercy from our beloved God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and always through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of, of blessed resurrection has now dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended, and when our earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with the angels and the archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we now acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Yes, you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all that is holy. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It shall be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again. Celebrate this memorial of his dying and rising. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be here in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by his Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout this world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Barry, our Bishop, 
the order of bishops, priests, and deacons, your professed religious, and all who follow your command willingly and lovingly. Remember your servants who are the intention of our prayer today, Micah and Cindy, and this your, their anniversaries of sorts. Be peaceful to them. Be growth to them. Be a becoming to them in your love. And we remember our blessed dead, those who have a claim upon our prayer, our remembrance. May they live now, united with you in eternity. Be mindful of us too. May we die in your mercy. May we become present to the light of your presence and face. Have mercy on us too that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with all your apostles and martyrs, that we may join the saints who are pleasing in your sight throughout all the ages, and may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life with them, and may praise and glorify you as we have sung and prayed through your Son, Jesus, our brother in Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. prayer that Jesus gave us and which we intend to be for all whom God loves. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your kindness, keep us free from sin. Protect us from even necessary evil as we wait in patience for Christ our Lord to come and fill us with his glory. Amen. Amen. Subject us not to the trial. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with each of you now. And with your spirit, let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. We ask if you're watching us live stream, please put a note on the chat box. Peace, brother. of spiritual communion for those watching from home. My Jesus, I believe that you're present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you 
Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. This is the Lamb of God. This is he who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we to be called to his supper. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter my life. Life. But only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ preserve our souls to life without end. Amen. Amen.
let us pray finally. Replenished by food that renews and gives life, we pray, O oh Lord, that our beloved sister Kim, strengthened by this, cleansed from all imperfection, may pass over to the company of heaven. And we express this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. May Almighty God bless you now, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our celebration has ended. We go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Please join in singing the second verse of number 547. Glory and praise to our God. Glory and, and praise, praise to our, our God. God who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his ways. In his wisdom he strengthens us like gold that's tested in fire. Though the power of sin prevails, our God is there to save. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his ways.